Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about how to enable SSL in Tomcat. First, some warnings you must consider. Always check your manufacturer's documentation on SSL configuration. In this case, Tomcat has its own set of docs on how to enable SSL. It is important that you check this out in case some commands or parameters change in the future. Second warning will be always to check your company's IT security staff on SSL policies. Your company may have its own set of rules that you must follow to implement HTTPS in your server, so it's always good to, to check them. And finally, always check with your certificate authority on specific procedures or parameters to implement your certificate correctly. Sometimes certificate authorities may require parameters to be specifically used in order for the certificate to work, so it's always good to consult their documentation on how to implement their certificate. Now let's jump into a quick demo. I'm going here in my Windows server and I'm going to my services panel and stop in my Tomcat service. It is important to remind that this procedure is not different if you're not using Windows but Linux or Unix operating systems. Now I'm going to go to my file system. I'm already here in the Tomcat com folder. The Tomcat com folder, it's inside the Tomcat installation root or Catalina home. In this folder, I already have a key store that has been properly signed by my certificate authority. I run all the parameters the Java commands needed to make sure this is properly set. Now I'm going to open the server.xml which contains the Tomcat port configuration. Here's the file and the, its basic structure. You may locate the port 8080 already defined. This is the non-secure port. If you go further down, you will find a section to define SSL HTTPS connector. And you are already given an example here. However, if you remove the comment text, you would see that the connector is already there, but it's not complete. So now I'm going to put those back and I'm going to copy one that I already created for this exercise. You would see that the protocol value is actually a match with the one given in the example. So it's basically the same connector. However, I added extra configuration regarding my keystore file, the keystore password and the keystore alias. This information is obtained at the moment of creating keystore, so it's important to preserve it and don't lose it, otherwise your connector won't work. So the keystore file name is a match with the one I have here in, the, in the, my file system. So now I'm going to save this file and let's go to our services panel again and start the service back. Make sure your status is stated as running and then open the browser and try to use your server name but instead of going through the port 8080 which is the regular HTTP change that to 8443 and now let's change everything to HTTPS and now let's give it a go and Tomcat it's already running you may find in your browser in the top bar that is already been marked as a connection secure and your certificate is being marked as valid. If you click on here you will find all the information on how your certificate is properly signed. So this is basically how you enable SSL in Tomcat. So now here's a brief summary of what we just did. After stopping my Tomcat servers I went into the server XML and added this connector which has important information I highlighted here with the keystore file, the keystore pass, and the keystore alias. All of these must point to your keystore already signed by your certificate authority. This connector is only one of many you may use if you want to review more secure connectors or configurations, you may go to this OWASP site that is dedicated to secure your Tomcat installation and follow its recommendations. Thank you for your time.